Attention on Spaceship Earth, we are experiencing a momentary delay. Please remain seated and Ladies thank you for your patience. Our time travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will be in moving again at any moment. <laughs> yeah, this is his choice, folks. He always goes for the Beverly, just like his mother. He actually likes the Beverly, and he doesn't even really drink other soda. But he has to come in here and have Beverly. He's my child. <laughs> Tickles your nose. It does tickle, huh? We have been so busy, I haven't even had a chance to open it yet. But anyway, hello! Teddy and I are having an evening at Epcot. You guys know what to do. Grab yourselves a tasty treat and a beverage your choice to keep your hands, arms, feet, legs inside this vlog at all times. So to catch you guys up a bit, we had to go right on Spaceship Earth first. That's always Teddy's first pick if there's a low wait time. And it was basically walk on. It was a five minute wait. Unfortunately, I, I didn't film because I film on Spaceship Earth almost every time we go on. And I told Teddy, I said, I'm not gonna film that. I filmed that a lot the last visit last week. But interestingly enough, it actually broke down several times during the ride and that was new for Teddy and he was panicking a little bit but then I kept reassuring him this happens all the time no worries just stay patient and it will get going and it was about a 15 maybe 10 maybe 10 10 minute to 15 minute delay but he did really good and then we did get down off spaceship earth and then Teddy believe it or not just had his first experience with the green team on Mission Space. He actually, that was our thing. I said, if we're going to the playground, you gotta get on Mission Space first. So he did, how'd you like it? Good. Yeah, you did? And now he's playing, so now he's distracted. But he did really good. He really did like green team Mission Space. I should also notate, new glasses finally came in. If you watched our Epcot vlog from last week, I was telling you in that vlog that my eyes were dilated because I had gone to get an eye exam. And today, right before we came over to Epcot, my new glasses came in. So I'm really excited because my last glasses were just destroyed, missing a nose piece, so scratched I couldn't see. So I'm really happy to have new glasses in. Are you having fun playing? There's something about him and some other kid banging on the glass here to each other. They have a whole bunch of other activities in here too. Teddy likes playing on the playground, plus doing these video games. And there's like another like bigger video game out behind me. You can do like a video postcard to email to a friend or family. Really cool area to hang out in. Taking a water break after playing hard there at the Mission Space exit. And it's the red collapsible cup for the win again, because I'm even just sporting a fanny pack today. So that makes for a great little reusable cup to even have in a fanny pack. Oh, it's getting windy, huh, Teddy? So we were actually walking back across to go to the seas there. And we were cutting through the Spaceship Earth exit where the games are and stuff. And Teddy's like, how about one quick game? And I'm like, all right, one quick game. So he's going to do this little driver game he likes doing. elbow racing if I caught that at all on video. I knew I took a, a clip for a reel of that. So kind of funny he'd start driving all of a sudden he'd be driving with his elbow. Anyway, now we've walked over to the seas. I was gonna stroll through Moana, but it is packed right now. I mean packed. So if we don't get to that tonight, please go back to last week's vlog. And we did walk through it as a family, all three of us during the nighttime hours. So don't know if I'll get to that tonight or not, but we're gonna go visit Nemo and then walk around the aquarium. Is he armed with white stripes and looks kind of like you only smaller? <laughs>
by the manatee exhibit first. I miss them now. Down to Flamingo, we had them right down to the marina. We go down and see them all the time. But now that I'm not living down in Everglades, I miss them, I miss them so much. So this is nice, you can come right here to Epcot and see them. And there's lots of education to be learned. So you could take your time, read all the signs. Right now they're getting nice big heads of romaine lettuce for their supper. I wanted to come down and kind of show you guys the signs here down on the other side. Can you sit on your bottom, honey? Thank you. Enrichment activity, playing with the buoys there. So now we're going to walk down through what I call the tunnel. It's a lot more crowded than I had anticipated it to be. And you never know that. Sometimes you can walk through here and you basically have it almost all to yourself. And then sometimes it does get a little crowded. All kinds of fish, huh? You see another one. I told Teddy as part of our education, our ongoing education, I said, if you recognize something, let me know and tell me the name. And there is, I mean, you could really take your time with this and stop and read a lot of the signs through the whole second layer here. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with this, like where Teddy's standing right now, that's actually the ride we were just on. And when the ride lets you off, you could take an escalator upstairs to this where the manatees are, there's this, and then there's another fish nursery that I'll take you over and show you. <laughs> this guy's found a nice resting spot, Teddy. Look at this, honey. You do see right here, honey. <laughs> He's resting on top of where the ride tunnel comes through. Oh, watch out, folks. We're going to have a blonde head in front of me. Here we go. Do you see him? This turtle Another look. Yeah, I, have to, I have to keep paying attention because that blonde head that keeps walking in front of me. Oh, nice. What do you see, honey? What do you see? And often you will find a hidden big tank as well. Teddy, can you spot the hidden Mickey, honey? So I wasn't really paying attention when I was first looking at the hidden Mickey, but there's a turtle down there on the left ear, right there. Nice big ray. Super cute. Well, you're staying until Saturday. You need to go party. He's a great animal to clean things. Okay. So he was just swimming around the ray here, cleaning the uh, algae and stuff off of her back. That's what they do. Come, Come get So in that last clip or so, I don't know if it was a clip or, I'm not taking a picture, honey, I'm taking a video. <laughs> he thinks I was taking a picture. I was really proud of Teddy. Teddy is starting to really come out of his shell and ask cast members questions. And I love watching him do that. I'm not gonna stop and cover every song. Like I said, there's a good crowd coming through here right now. But as you can see, there is great chance to build this into an educational opportunity. Whether you have younger ones, or whether it's anybody in the Ohana that you travel with or even yourself. And yes, like I was saying before, Teddy's start, excuse me, sir, bottom, thank you. Teddy's starting to get really brave. He did it at Animal Kingdom yesterday of like asking these like education cast members the questions and stuff of, oh, what's that? He was going with the fish, ooh, what's that? So I'm really proud of you, Teddy, for doing that. Now he's getting antsy. Again, looking like at this grouping of signs, great opportunity. Oh, would you like to read? 
No, he's gonna do speed. He wants to go do the quiz. He's anxious to show everybody he knows how to do the quiz. So here in the nursery, you can do Mr. Ray's pop quiz. He has done it before. Pick, pick English. And he even has a certificate at home. He loves doing this. You wanna do beginner or advanced? You're gonna do advanced. Whoa, boo. Gonna look around the nursery here a little bit. Don't bang though, okay? Look at the hidden Mickey on the sea urchin. Teddy, do you see that? There's a hidden Mickey on this sea urchin? Yeah, do you see it? There's another little Mickey cap on this sea urchin. That is so adorable. Cuttlefish. back downstairs but I wanted to take this minute since we're looking at a lot of marine life and I had already mentioned by the manatees that I have lived in Everglades National Park as a matter of fact Mark still technically lives and works there and I just wanted to give a bit of a note of what Mark actually does for his job because I don't know if I've ever really said this tidbit trivia tidbit on camera Mark is a utilities operator. He operates water and wastewater down there in the Flamingo District of Everglades National Park. And in Flamingo, 100% of their usable, drinkable, or any kind of water that you use or drink is turned into fresh water from salt water, 100%. Any water you bathe with, drink with, do any of that, down there in the Flamingo District of Everglades, once was salt water and Mark and his team and his co-workers turn it into fresh usable water and plus he also operates the wastewater plant so just thought you guys might want to know that. Oh, that was an alley gift. to see you out there dude. Oh, Chow, we've got to talk to her. She did not think she'd be talking to a turtle today. If you dudes think you can help me out with that, say Chow. Chow. Oh, dudes, you so totally rock, light blue shell. Okay. Hey, dude. Hey, Deborah, dude, do you have a question too? Totally, what is it? So I have to fill you guys in from a parent's perspective of doing turtle talk with Crush for the first time with Teddy, but I wanted to show you right outside of the journey of water, the new Moana thing, they have a bottle refill and I already had a cup of this. It is delicious, it is cold, a really good water refill station. Yeah, even Teddy agreed, that's good water. That's a good water fountain, so notate that. If you're one that uses a cup or refillable bottle, bottle that's a good water fountain. This is future Christina popping in because I didn't get a chance to fill you in on the parenting experience at Turtle Talk with Crush. We're home now. Uh, I'm fixing snacks. Teddy's watching TV and eating his snacks to unwind. So I had to come in and tell you. So I've never done Turtle Talk with Crush with Teddy before. So I wasn't sure. At first he didn't even want to do it. But then once he got in and he saw the area to sit on the floor with all the other kids, he was excited. So excited that he told me, Mama go, Mama go. I want to be alone, Mama go. So I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yep, yep. So I said, okay, I'm going to be a few rows back. Because at that point when we got in there, there was no seating in like the first three rows of the bleachers. So I went and sat down. And then like before it even started, I heard, where's Mama? Where's my mama? Where's mama? And I thought, oh no. So I got on my hands and knees and crawled like down to the front and motioned to him. And then he saw me and he goes, nope, go away, go away, I'm fine. So I'm like, oh, okay. So then throughout the whole show off and on, I kept hearing, where's mama? Where's my mama? And then he'd calm down. So it was an experience. It was a learning experience for me as a parent to take his word for it that he was okay. So he wanted to do it, he loved it so much, he wanted to turn around and do it a second time. So he did go right in, and that time I knew, okay, go sit right by the rope, so you're one of the first ones in. So the second round, I was on the bleachers, right behind where the squared off area is where the kids can sit on the floor. 
And by that point, he did do really good, but I think he did good because he knew I was right there. He made a buddy immediately and sat with a buddy, but I just want to fill you in. If you do have little ones sitting there, um, especially for the first couple times, you might want to make sure you're close by so that when your kid decides last minute to panic and goes, where's mama or where's daddy or whatever, where's grandma, that they can find you. So that's my cute little uh, uh, parenting wake up call reality check for Turtle Talk with Crush. All right, let's get back. So Teddy's decided he does want to kind of walk through the Moana attraction. He's gonna promise me he's not gonna get wet though. So we're gonna hope, maybe a little wet, but not so, cause I don't have the backpack with the extra clothes. This is gorgeous, even during the daytime. Sometime I will come through here, like when Mark's with me and I'll go slow and read all the signs for you guys and really cover the wonderful education and interp this place has. Yeah, see, I thought this was stunning at night, but this is just as beautiful. Of course, it is getting towards, you know, sunset, but it is beautiful. You gotta wave your arm. And Mark's right, the views of Spaceship Earth, even in the daylight. Wow, that's gorgeous. Teddy's a little short for this one. He's trying. There, we figured it out. Stick his hand in between the little rail in here. There you go, Teddy. You're getting it now. All right, go. You don't know how to do it. Step up to it. Say, after you. After you. All right, there we go. Good job. This is all just so much fun and so gorgeous. Oh, she is even gorgeous in the daylight. Wow, beautiful. Teddy was saying it is, the lights are starting to come on. As you can see down there by the waterfall, you see some of the lights starting to come on. Everybody's making the big wave happen. <laughs> so in last week's vlog, when we were here in the evening, we had to hurry past this part because we had to hit Spaceship Earth before the park closed, so Teddy's happy to touch it. The details, I, I'm going to have to come through this time and time again to really pick up all the details. What do you think of the steam, honey? I can heat it. Yeah, you did it. You selected it. It highlighted someone was determined because his first ride on Spaceship Earth was messed up. He had to do it again, so hopefully no breakdown this time, huh, Teddy? I'm not going to record much on it, though, because like I mentioned earlier, I've recorded this a lot because it's one of Teddy's favorite rides. So Spaceship Earth kind of didn't do its thing coming back down. We got through the ride, but it didn't do the whole question and, you know, quizzing you what's your favorite thing home and all, all that, if you're familiar with Spaceship Earth. And then we played some games after, and now Teddy's like, Tired, ready to call it a night. Did you have a fun night? Yeah, we live in the city. We live in the city? You think Winter Garden's a city? Yeah. Okay, what was your favorite part of tonight? All of it. All of it, that's always his answer, folks. Every time we ask him what his high was for the day or what his favorite part was, he says all of it. But that's gonna do it for us from Epcot tonight. Peace and love, gang. Keep adventuring. And hey, Teddy, what's next? What is next? Pumpkin Ward. <laughs> okay, let's go home. Let's go catch the tram.